Manchester United board give Eric Ten Hag just £120 million to spend, despite Dutchman's plans to overhaul squad. Work is already underway between Ten Hag and United's recruitment team to sign players, with the Dutchman targeting a centre-back, a right-back, a central midfielder and a striker. Ten Hag feels United's spine needs strengthening but the squad will already be depleted on his arrival as Juan Mata, Paul Pogba, Edinson Cavani, Nemanja Matic and Jesse Lingard are all set to leave the club. Just replacing those outgoings will take significant investment and given the space on the wage bill that those departures will create, it was felt Ten Hag will be given around £200 million to spend. However, the Times say that Ten Hag has been given modest £120 million and he'll have to top up his transfer budget by sanctioning further sales. The likes of Phil Jones, Eric Bailly, Anthony Marshall, Dean Henderson and Aaron Juan Bissaka are all available for transfer. Frenkie de Jong, the Barcelona midfielder, is a priority target for Ten Hag but the Catalans want around £75 million for the Dutchman, which would be over half of his summer budget. As well as de Jong, Ten Hag is targeting Jurian Timber, the Ajax centre-back. The 20-year-old is valued at around £50 million by the Dutch giants but Ten Hag feels defence is an area of priority. Roma eyeing deal for Manchester United's Aaron Juan Bissaka. Roma could make an approach to sign Manchester United defender Aaron Juan Bissaka this summer, Gazeta Dello Sport claims. Juan Bissaka started last season as the undisputed right back for United, but he was displaced by Diogo Delot at the turn of the year. Interim boss Ralph Rangnick preferred the better attacking attributes of the Portugal international. Eric Ten Hag has also been tipped to pick Delot over Juan Bissaka for the same reason. There is already talk that the former Crystal Palace graduate could be offloaded. Amidst this, Gazeta report that Jose Mourinho's side could be interested. The former United boss is eyeing a strong competitor to Rick Karsdorp for the next campaign. Juan Bissaka still has two years remaining on his contract, but could be prized away for around €30 million. Euros. United seem to be already eyeing a new right back. Cristiano Ronaldo, forced Man United staff to upgrade the club's swimming pool, after complaining that, loose, chipped and missing tiles posed a safety hazard at Carrington. Ronaldo secured an emotional return to United last summer, heading back for a second stint at Old Trafford 12 years after his world record move to Real Madrid. Yet despite last using it all the way back in 2009, the Portuguese superstar was left dismayed when he discovered their Carrington swimming pool had not changed one bit over the past decade. According to the Mirror, Ronaldo told bosses at their Aeon training complex that he is not prepared to use their main pool or plunge pool until both have been refurbished. As he claimed, loose, chipped and missing tiles made it a danger. United officials took his complaints very seriously and immediately ordered remedial works on the two pools, which will be completed before preseason training begins in mid-July. Ronaldo is understood to have been disappointed with the declining standard in facilities at both Carrington and Old Trafford since he returned, with the hazardous swimming pools his biggest gripe. So much so, in fact, that he made sure his rented home in Cheshire included an indoor pool so that he could perform water-based exercises away from the club's training ground. The 37-year-old's frustration with the facilities at United could explain why he felt the need to join a local gym, having recently signed up to an exclusive pound 255 a month facility in Nustford. Comment, like and subscribe.